So let's talk a little bit about tech again today. In this video, I'm going to be covering about Node.js 19, which is the latest release of Node.js. Now remember, because this is an odd number, this is not a stable release. So I would not recommend jumping on to Node.js 19 directly and upgrading all your projects. So there's that. Next thing is Node.js 18, I saw is available now on AWS Lambda. So you might want to get to Node.js 18, but not 19 yet for production apps. But let's take a look at what Node.js 19 brings so it brings a bunch of interesting things which I, the most I'm excited about is this node watch Now, this node watch is actually a direct competition to nodemon nodemon has been the standard tool for you know it can watch pretty much anything but it has mostly been used with node.js projects but now instead of nodemon you can just run something like node watch and then index.js which will watch or which will you know see any changes in the file and it will restart your server restart your script automatically based on that now, of course, this version of Node.js also ships with Fetch. So Fetch was made, you know, out of experimental mode, not exactly out of experimental mode, experimental flag in Node.js 18. So now you can use Fetch without Node Fetch or any sort of third party library within Node.js directly. That's also a good thing. Outside of that, you can also see that Node.js 18 is going LTS, which is long term support, right? Like I mentioned, Node, as far as I remember, Node follows the even convention. So all the even versions are stable and LTS and all the odd versions are they are experimental in nature. Node.js 14 is going end of life in April 2023 so it might not be a bad idea this time to you know just upgrade to Node 18 and with all the benefits and all the things performance and new features you get Node 18 and beyond makes much more sense right just it's time to just leave older versions and get on to the new ones. You can also see that this version now Node 19 keeps the keep alive on by default now what the keep alive thing is that you can see http works on tcp right so underlying protocol is tcp but it is expensive to establish tcp connections earlier what used to happen was that every http request would be performed on every new tcp connection and i think best way to take a look at this is just that if you go to this network tab and let me just refresh this and let me just right click on this column click on this connection id as well so you see this connection id over here is what the TCP connection ID is for this. So if I am on the all tabs, you know, if I'm, I'm seeing all the requests, you can see there are a bunch of connection IDs which are same. So you see 2204380 and this 2204380. They are on the same TCP connection because they established with the same server, Node.js, right? So you see that Node.js can use a single underlying TCP connection for multiple HTTP requests. But of course, it has to use a different TCP connection for this. Well, of course, because this is Google APIs, right? It's not the same domain. So that is why the connection ID is different. So what this basically means is that if you now send requests with node.js in node.js 19 it's gonna keep the keep alive header on that means it gets the opportunity to reuse these tcp connections again it's just for five seconds so that you just don't bloat the connections on the server so there's that if this gets stable then it will improve slightly improve the you know, IO performance over network with Node.js. It also says that it has stable web crypto. I have not personally used web crypto a lot, so I can't comment on this, but looks like it's a good thing. Things going stable is always good. The V8 engine has also been upgraded. So V8 is the underlying engine, underlying C, C++ engine, which runs JavaScript in a way. So there are a bunch of new APIs, which V8 also provides, not just Node or not just web. So this international.number format is, I think is now available. So maybe you can check this out if this is something which concerns you or your apps npm ships with 8.1 8.19.2 and yep that's basically it not a huge change but like you can see node.js is very consistent in releasing more and more releases every single you know every once in a while i don't know what the duration is for the releases but every once in a while they are releasing it and they have to now in a way because bun is coming and bun is like a huge threat to node the reason is because bun pretty much works just like node so it's almost like a drop in replay and you never want a competitor which is like a drop in replacement the reason i feel like dino was not a good competition to node.js at all was because it was not a drop in replacement so you have to build a whole community and a whole mindset whole infrastructure from scratch in fact dino has changed that a bit now because they have also like started supporting npm modules now finally so that's a change but bun on the other hand it embraces where node is and it builds on top of that in terms of performance scalability so it's, it's actually 
actually important for node to also you know get on their toes buckle up release more things release better features improve performance and so on and i believe that is what we'll see in the coming months as well of course if you want to try out node.js today just go to codedown.com playgrounds and start a node.js playground you can see we are running at 14 but by the time this video comes out trust me this is gonna be at 18 hopefully if not maybe in a day's time so we are also moving away from 14 and we'll be implementing node.js 18 very soon so yep that's pretty much it for this video hopefully you liked and hopefully you learned something from it make sure you like subscribe to the channel visit codedam.com start learning through interactive courses build these playgrounds practice hands-on for free that is all for this one i'm gonna see you in the next video very soon if you're still watching this video make sure you comment down in the comment section i watched this video till the end also if you're not part of codedamps discord community you are missing out a lot on events which we organize on a weekly basis to code you already know the drill make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and thank you so much for watching